ہر ایک تخلیق کار کو ایک موقع فراہم کیا جاتا ہے میرے پاس انگریزی میں بھی حیا سجاد وانی کی ریویو لکھا ہوا ہے اور اردو میں بھی کیونکہ حیا سجاد وانی جس نے فینسی فلائٹ لکھی ہے چھٹی جماعت میں چھٹی جماعت کی طالبہ جو ہوتی ہے یہ کھیلنے میں مصروف ہوتے ہیں تفلانہ حرکتیں ہوتی ہیں لیکن ان تفلانہ حرکتوں کے ساتھ ساتھ اس نے ایک ایسے چیز کا ایسے تخلیق کاری کا انتخاب کیا ہے ان کے آنے والے مستقبل کے لیے حیا سجاد وانی بہت بہت شکریہ ان کی دوسری کتاب فینسی فلائٹس ان کی والدہ ان کی استاد بھی ساتھ میں ہیں First of all, I feel really ecstatic to be here, a part of uh, such a glorious gathering. Even though um, there is something missing, my father is here and I feel his absence because he couldn't be here at this moment as he works abroad. But still, being a part of such a gathering with such honorable people is like, it's a lot for me. And a special thanks to uh, the organizer of uh, this glorious program, Mr. Vaishri Said Sir who organized this program, I'm really happy. So this is Haya Sajadwani and I studied in grade 8th and I'm 14 years old. In my lifespan of 14 years, I've written two books. And um, I started writing when since I was 9 and first I wrote short stories and poems and later I switched to the book which I started writing in my grade 5. This book was uh, the extension of a short story I'd written a year ago. And I felt it was capable enough of being converted into a book, so that's what I did. I kept writing, and afterwards I wrote my book, a sequel, which was Fancy Flight Corona vs. Children. And it got published this year, I guess in January it got published, yes. And so, um, since, if I talk about my uh, writing style, it's uh, simple, there's no tough terms used, and really easy to understand. Uh, I've uh, used all simple terms, except for a few figures of speech. Uh, I guess the most that I've used is oxymoron, which uh, which has uh, which states the use of two different terms being used together in order to give a specific meaning. And uh, I've also used uh, metaphor, simile, hyperbole, and all these, irony and imagery, these uh, figures of speech in my writing. So if I say why I started writing, uh, since I was very young, I had an, I don't know why, but I had this obsession with making the world aware of what I think. And uh, because of this, I did play, like all of us, especially girls, we do play pretend games, but a person is not said to be the same for the rest of his life. So this uh, playing the pretend game thing, it changed into writing. This was because of certain reasons and first one uh, was that I guess I was good at it. I felt somewhat I'm good at it. And second was that um, the thing that I like the most about writing, because of that I started writing, it is that writing has no restrictions. You can write your heart out without any limits and any boundaries with liberty. So this is the thing I love the most about writing. Lastly, I'd like to say that do whatever you want whatever your inner self feels that you're good at doing this doesn't mean i'm not promoting you to be ignorant and ignore what people say but what i mean is that um you have to be positive whatever you see whatever you hear and your comments you need to be positive about that be optimistic don't be pessimistic because trust me pessimism leads to nowhere it leads to in the middle of nowhere and if you change the way you look at the thing the things you look at, they change. Thank you. Hiya Sajjad Wani. My name is Hiya Sajjad Wani. So, today uh, we had this, uh, my book release function it was inside and I felt really ecstatic to be among uh, such glorious people and honourable people. It was even though my father wasn't here, he couldn't be here and I felt his absence but still being there was a lot for me. And um, 
it was a book release function not just one book uh, two of my books have been published one in my sixth grade and one in my eighth grade so um, the book release function of the same was taking place or oh, although the first one had already been released the second one was taking place inside and um, i felt really good my uh, both of my books it was the first one had been published under the title fancy flight and excursion to wonder world and the second book uh, it was the sequel of the first one and it got uh, published under the title fancy flight corona versus children बुक्स को स्टार्ट करने की बात करें तो पहले से मैंने बुक स्टार्ट लिखना स्टार्ट नहीं किया इट वाज लाइक व्हेन आई वाज नाइन आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग एंड आई स्टार्टेड विद शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड पोम्स एंड लेटर ऑन व्हेन आई वाज इन माय ग्रेड फाइव लाइक आई गेस टेन इलेवन इयर्स ओल्ड आई एक्सटेंडेड वन स्टोरी आई रिटन इन फोर्थ ग्रेड एंड दैट टर्न टू बी इन अ बुक सो माई फर्स्ट बुक गॉट पब्लिश इन माई ग्रेड सिक्स ऑल आई रिटन इट इन फिफ्थ ग्रेड बट इट गॉट पब्लिश वैन आई वॉज ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड देन आफ्टर words i kept writing and my journey kept going on and why i chose writing was that um, i felt i'm good at writing that's uh, that is the first thing like i cannot judge myself but we know a person a person's inner self knows what they're good at so i felt i can it's my cup of tea i can do it and uh, the second thing that i like the most about this is which made me write was that writing has no limits it has no boundaries you can write your heart out with no limit with all liberty you have and with no restrictions that's what i like about it talk about inspiration uh, like i said inside uh, i didn't have an inspiration my motto was to um, convey my message to the audience not exactly the message i i had this obsession with making the world aware of what i feel so for this i had various means and like little children play pretend games so um, that pretend gaming thing it turned into writing and i started writing so um, as i said fancy flight both are uh, it's a series of books a series of two books so in this what happens there are children uh, it has a back story and let's not let's keep a bit of suspense so that uh, there are many children in this they come together with cooperation and coordination they set out for an adventure and first they go to discover the paradise because they've heard a lot about it and they want to go and discover the paradise as they are really young and curious children and uh, in the second part what happens um, the same children they can set out for an adventure and they get trapped into another world through some means through magical means so this is what happens in both the books so it would be my message for the children not only for them it's for everybody uh, firstly what you need to do listen to your inner self just see what you're actually good at and don't uh, pressurize or force yourself to do something just see what you're actually good at and do that thing this doesn't mean i'm promoting them to be ignorant and ignore what other people say and just do what they uh, feel like so uh, it's not that it is along with being uh, along with knowing what you are actually what you actually have to do you need to be positive you need to be optimistic and let go of pessimism because it leads to nowhere this is what my message is be optimistic and uh, have a look at your inner self i talk about support i cannot describe it in words it is unlimited and like wordless we can't uh, describe anything which is unlimited so i'm speechless i cannot say thank you